while we are still standing because of our time, um, we are more than privileged this afternoon to have with us the headquarters of the redeemed Christian Church of God moving to Abuja. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know, there's something about the source that you can't take away from it. Nothing can take the place of the source. We have in our midst this afternoon to bring forth the word of life to us. One of our fathers in the Lord is one of the special assistants to the general overseer. He's the one in charge of admin and personnel. And not just that, he's also the uh, pastor in charge of the foremost region with the headquarters at Ebute Meta. Uh, he drove in all the way from Jaws this morning because he's been there for a program. While some of us were still snoring in bed, he was already on the way. We, we take this honor oh, not for granted. It's therefore my privilege to invite to the podium Pastor J.F. Odeshola. Put your hands together for the Lord. Come on, put that hand together for Jesus. Put that hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's a great honor to be on this podium and I want to appreciate uh, province, pastor in charge of province and um, the zona pastor and the pastor in charge of this place. Um, God bless you. I really appreciate you and mommy. The Lord will continue to bless you. And my able friend is here, also here. Pastor Ebidapo. We been together for so long. God bless you, sir. And Pastor Adedeji, God bless you. Amen. 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 I can't hear your amen properly. Amen. I'd like you to lift up your right hand to God. Say something to the Lord. If you love him, tell him I love you. If you appreciate him, tell him I appreciate you. You are my maker. You are my God. You are my king. Oh, thank you, Father. We bless your name, King of Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Say a better amen. amen. You are going to pray, you are going to say, Father. Every evil, veil and evil Every evil veil and evil garment covering my, covering my glory cut fire in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every evil veil and evil garment covering my glory cut fire in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh. Jesus mighty name we pray you are going to say father let your presence today catapult me to my mega breakthrough in the name of Jesus let your presence today catapult me to my mega breakthrough to the glory of the name of the Lord in the name of Jesus. In Jesus. Mighty name we pray. You are going to say father. I take my place. I take my portion. I assume my position. I possess my possession. Now in this service in the name of Jesus. Shall we begin to pray. I take my portion. I take my place. I take my possession now in this service in Jesus mighty name we pray you are going to pray father every agent of unfruitfulness receive baptism of destruction in the name of Jesus every agent of destruction Every agent of unfruitfulness receive baptism of destruction. Oh, thank you. We worship you. 
we worship you Jesus Leketoshara in Jesus mighty name we pray you are going to say father every evil of wickedness developing at my uh, in my foundation receive destruction now in the name of Jesus every tree of evil germinating in my foundation in my foundation in Jesus mighty name we pray two more prayer you are going to say father all those who are vowed that is over their dead body let them enter into six feet down according to their word in the name of Jesus those who are vowed that over their dead body according to their word let them enter into six feet down the ground yes let them enter according to their word oh thank you father in Jesus mighty name we pray you are going to prophesy you are going to prophesy open a new chapter of a new beginning for me today you are going to mention your name my my leg will you mention your name and say your leg will carry you to goodness from today you will not be disappointed again no any sorrow is allowed in your family every book of evil that are open you closed it my name is the book of redundancy in the book of evil i remove my name thank you father in jesus mighty name we pray it shall be so in the name of jesus it shall be so in the name of jesus father every prayer point we raised answer us by fire in the name of jesus everyone that came into this place with certain disease whatever name curable or incurable minor or major hear the voice of the lord every sickness receive baptism of destruction in the name of jesus because they could not hold jesus captive even in the grave is a captain it's a champion every forces that have held you down held you down in problem whether spiritual or physical here today by the power of resurrection you are releasing the name of jesus all of you who have no hope of what tomorrow may be because you are pressing your way to prominence today receive the anointing for prominence in the name of jesus now that this mouth of clay has something to say i pray that i will not do violence to your word within the time i have i pray that you will communicate lord almighty the diamond and the gem of the spirit into the life of the people and the word of god that destroy every yoke of affliction will destroy yoke of affliction the lord that transform will transform their life and the name of the lord will be glorified in the name of jesus we well, thank you father we well, covenanted we give you the glory take all the glory in the name of jesus thank you blessed father in jesus mighty name we pray and let the people say amen let the people say amen take your seat god bless you open your bible to the book of mark chapter 2 pressing through the crowd to prominence pressing through the crowd to miracle pressing through the crowd to your destiny pressing through the crowd to your destination mark chapter 2 verse 1 to 11 i want to read quickly mark chapter 2 1 to 11 and again he entered into capernaum after some days 
And it was noise that he was in the house. And straight away, many were gathered together in so much that there was no room to receive them. No, not so much as about the door. And he preached the word unto them. And they come unto him, bringing one sick of palsy, which was born of four. And when they could not come near unto him for the press, they uncovered the roof where he was. And when they had broken it up, they let down the bed wherein the sick of palsy lay. When Jesus saw their faith, he said unto the sick of palsy, Son, thy sins be forgiven thee. And there were certain of the scribes sitting there and reasoning in their hearts. What does this man thus speak blasphemy? Uh, who can forgive sin but God only? And immediately when Jesus perceived in his spirit that they so reasoned within themselves, he said unto them, Why reasoning ye things in your hearts? Whether it is easier to say to the sick of the palsy, Thy sins be forgiven thee, or say, Arise and take up thy bed and walk, but that you may know that the Son of Man has power on earth to forgive sin. He said to the sick of palsy, I say unto thee, Arise and take up thy bed and go thy way unto thy house. Now listen to verse 12. And immediately he arose, took up the bed and went forth before them all, in so much that they were all amazed and glorified God, saying, We never saw it on this fashion. That is what God will do in your life today. This particular story is a very powerful story. Powerful in the sense that we saw a man who started as a problem and ended up as a testimony. We saw a man who originally was a body to all others. But at the end of the day, he became a celebrity. None of us here who are called a child of God or those who have anything to do with church should remain in sorrow. You should not remain in the problem. If somebody that is carried by four, and thank God they didn't carry you here, and if they carry anyone here today, I declare, rise up in the name of Jesus Christ. Anything you can think about failure, depression, oppression, regression, retrogression, anything that is born of affliction that belongs to the order of the devil they are not your own stuff and they are not your portion they cannot be your portion and they will not be your portion in the name of Jesus from this story so many loaded lessons but let me bring out about few maybe about five or six which I have called divine technology for prominence. The first thing that we saw is the fact that Jesus was in a place and the people heard about Jesus. And the friend and this paralytic man, I don't really know who actually was the mover. But there was something there that the man who is a paralytic man discover his destiny. That's the very first point you need to know. This paralytic man discovered destiny. When it is obvious that I'm coming here, I didn't come to preach to you. The anointing in Lagos is fine because uh, that's the headquarter of our father. But I know there are something that is here that I need to actually take to complete and to make up for my destiny. So, he discovered this paralytic man and his friend that he is not supposed to be a burden to other people. He discovered that he is not supposed to be a liability. He discovered that he is not supposed to be at the back. And so, anyone that will press his way to prominence, you must be able to discover your destiny. Jacob until he met with that angel and fought with him 
He was going about. Please, the language may not permit it. He was Jacobizing everyone. Everywhere he go, even when he saw the, an angel, angel descending and descending, he still went about to Laban to defraud. I, I just thought he was emotionally connected at the, as the first time. But on this occasion, in Genesis 32, 24 to 28, the Bible said, he fought with an angel until he received a change of destiny. Somebody today, you will encounter a change of destiny in the name of Jesus. The man said, what is your name? He said, I'm Jacob. The fraud are thieves. And the angel said, that is the problem. You must be able to discover. How can you come to church and pray? A situation about your life doesn't change. How can you come to church and pray? And you are still under oppression. How can you come to church and you are saying you are a child of God, you speak in tongues. And all the bunch of evil that the people of the world are still going through, you are going through them. The world said if any man is in Christ, the new creature, all things pass away. You must discover, but you see, somebody said, when you don't discover, you cannot recover. So you must discover what God says about you. I may I say to you, if you don't know what is in the book for you, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1 to 30. If you don't know what is there for you, talk John, talk John, I mean verse 1 and 2. If you don't know what is there for you, Philippians 4, 19, there are, those things are spread on the pages of the Bible. It's spread there. Discover your destiny. That's number one. Number two thing that I saw in that story is that this man and his friend, they have a vision for a better life. It doesn't matter where you are now. It could be better. You don't look backward to move forward. You look forward to move forward. Now, and it doesn't matter how much, how long God is dealing with you, the best is yet to come. And I know God will take you to that the best in the name of Jesus. They have a vision for a better life. What is your vision about life? There are people who come to church, but they are full of evil vision. Thinking something evil will happen to them. Thinking that their marriage will collapse. Thinking that they are not going to, they are going to die in sorrow. The Bible said, where there is no vision, the people perish. You see, vision is the picture of your future. Without the picture of your future, you don't have a future. Vision is what God ordained your life for. Ambition is what you want to do for yourself. And so these people, they thought within themselves, it could be better our brother and I, I i know that somebody is here today somebody is here today your life will be raised times 10 in the name of jesus but you must catch that vision for a better life at age 17 joseph saw the vision but he didn't attain it until 30 70 years old david Saw the vision to end Goliath. You must see godly vision. The Bible said in Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 4 and 5. Jeremiah chapter, 4, chapter 1, verse 4 and 5. He said, Before you are formed in your mother's womb, God knows who he ordained you to nations. That's what God sees about you. And he said, I know the thought I think towards you. Jeremiah 29 11. Jeremiah 29 11. The thought of peace and not of evil. He came back to ask Jeremiah in Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 11 and 12. Jeremiah 1 11 and 12. What did you see? He said, I saw a prospering future. Today, every evil vision or every evil prophecy on your life will command that they be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus. And number three, this man and his friend, they choose to change. They will have stayed in the house. They will have think about their, the chronicles of what they have done that didn't work in the past. But they determined.
happy to take their friend to where he could be helped. You must choose to change. Choose to change. Don't just come to church and pray alone. If you need to adjust your life, adjust your life. Your choice to change your life will determine your chance to make it. So, choose to change. Jabez. First Chronicle 4, 9 and 10. First Chronicle 4, 4. First Chronicle 4, uh, chapter 4, 9 and 10. The man said, I am tired of this problem. He will have stayed with it. I said, no problem. At least I will die one day. Everybody will die. I know I will die one day, but I refuse to go to heaven on the ticket of the devil. And I don't want the devil to send me to the grave before my time. Ha! Huh? What will God profit if I die at a tender, tender age? Now, it's only a witch or a wizard, father and mother, that, that, that will derive joy in the pain of their, of their children. God doesn't gain anything by my pain. Every one of you carry any pain, physical or invisible. Every form of pain in your life, I declare that they end in the name of Jesus Christ. But choose to change. Number four, they open themselves up to new ideas. Open up yourself to new ideas. Don't just stay glued to the unworkable methods. They go to where Jesus was preaching. Everywhere was packed. And they said, mm -mm, we must do something for our friends. They took, nobody told them, but the common sense, the divine common sense told them they can remove the roof. Open up yourself to new ideas. Some of the things I have discovered that God does in miracle service is different from the normal service. And some people will be thinking, are these people crazy? Now some people came to Jesus and they said, we want to see. He split on the ground. Jesus, the master. And he rubbed the face. That's Jesus, the son of God himself. Does that, is that sensible? Somebody came and said, I want to be here. We are leper. He said, go and show yourself to the priest. No prayer. So some of the things that God does I mean, is different from when he's preaching blessed are thou. It is not easy. It, it is easier for the camel to go through the house of an idiot and for something to go to, to go to heaven. It's different. You must open up yourself to new idea. The people open up themselves. Open the roof. And they drop their friend. That leads me to point number five. You must be willing to break barriers. Life is about breaking barrier. Don't surrender yourself and the rulership of yourself to anyone. That many of you who surrender the rulership of yourself to somebody else, please pray for me. Then you go about to do your own normal business. And the problem or the challenge or challenges is in your body. You must be willing to break barriers. Life is about breaking barrier. When you feel pain, don't see your doctor before you rebuke it. Whenever you feel any strength, come to the altar here. Do you close this church? It's 24 hours. Come here and say, Father, every pain whatsoever I release you, you must die on this altar. That's what the altar is for. You must be willing to break barriers. Don't just leave the matter of your life in limbo. Your husband is going out with another girl who didn't know how you gather your words. And you say, okay, God will do something. You better do something. <laughs> Mix. You know, you know how to prepare spiritual concussion. Jeremiah and Isaiah and Matthew and Revelations and Mark. You mix it together and release the name. When I nearly graduated as an engineer, one of my boys look at me because every one of you here today, and you are a born again child of God, God will highly favor you in the name of Jesus. The double 
double favor, double grace, double anointing, double enlargement. God will put upon your life in the name of Jesus. When I nearly graduated as an engineer, highly favor. So my bosses are against me. And one of them said, we will you. I just smiled. I said, it is an impossible impossibility for a normal, normal, sane person to swallow a needle. He said, we'll see. One of them, because of, I don't, I call it anything. Because of me, all those three of them, one was mad, the other one, one way or the other, committed unpardonable mistake and he was sad. The other one, he was, uh, he was incapacitated. Nobody fight with a true child of God that goes coffee. Have you noticed Mordecai? Get man! And the second in command was fighting against him. Without touching a needle, the man, everyone who is against your destiny, everyone who is against your rising, everyone is against your healing, they will go for you in the name of Jesus. Mm. Praise God. The Lord said, I should tell somebody that the pain at that back is lifted now. Thank you, Jesus. Let me mention one point because there's something we need to do. So, they broke through the roof. Determined to break barrier. Don't wait for anyone. And you know what? They rightly positioned him before Christ. How they are able to calculate that, I don't know. Thank God that those of you who are here today, you are rightly positioned. Your miracle will be delivered. You know, your positioning in life will determine your possession. You will possess your possession in the name of Jesus. Pressing your way to prominence requires your effort. And you have made your effort now. And that's why I'm believing God today that every one of you under the sound of, of my voice whatsoever is the reason for you to appear here today God will double it for you and give to you. Just rise up like that. Rise up like that. Lift up your hands to God. And say, God, I'm here. I'm here. Deliver my miracle. I'm here. The Lord just asked me to do something now. So, just stand with me here. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. So, when they drop this man, just hang on there. I'm, I'm closing now. They just drop the man. And Jesus said, when they dropped the man, the owner was angry. But when Jesus now commanded, he said, okay, come on. You guys, you are doing well. The owner of the house also was happy. I said, I will repair my roof. Come on. What am I saying? They brought this man from being a problem. And they brought him to promotion. From tests. And frustration to manifestation. Today, I have it on the authority of the Lord. That's what the Lord, the Lord spoke to me yesterday. I had him this morning. I don't just want to waste my time. Now, I have it on the authority of the Lord that somebody is here today. That every miracle that you have been waiting for, God is delivering it. Amen. But listen to this. Listen to this because I need to pray. Those of us who have not been born again, I don't have the time to call you out. I will pray for you wherever you are. And I can do something that God dropped into my heart quickly. Now, if you are here, you have not been born again, or you have been born again, but you discover that you are not living the way you should live. Let's everybody close their eyes. And I want those people only to raise up their hand. Raise up their hand. I will pray with you first. Then we'll go ahead on doing the other thing. 
Thank you, brother. I could see you. Thank you, sister. Thank you. If any usher want to do anything, do it there. I want to pray quickly, quickly now. Just raise that hand up. I want to pray with you. Thank you. Raise up your hand quickly. Thank you. Father God, thank you for these hands that are raised. I decree and I declare over your hand that the power of the living God shall come over you to rescue you from the contamination of sin. In the name of Jesus. I declare over your life today by the power of the cross and by, by the power of the word. That every accusation of the enemy against you, I banish them away in the name of Jesus. Receive fresh anointing. Fresh anointing to overcome and to do the impossible. And I pray that from today, the grace of God will rest upon your life. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Now, please, if you are raising up your hand, can you quickly come to the altar? I want to lay my hand personally on you. If you don't raise up your hand, that's an unfaithfulness. If you raise up your hand, come to the altar. I want to personally raise, I mean, lay my hand upon you. Quickly, quickly, quickly. God bless you. God bless you. Quickly, 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 quickly. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Quickly, quickly, quickly. God bless you. Come on, jam your hands together for Jesus. Quickly, quickly, quickly. I want to quickly, quickly. I want to lay my hand upon your life, upon you. If you don't raise up your hand and you 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 are you 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 are in the at the altar, that's a lie. And you see, uh, a liar will not get blessing from God. So if you are raising up your hand and uh, you are part of the people I pray for, just come quickly, 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 quickly. Come on, jam your hands together. Don't be tired so soon. Wow. Quickly, quickly. All right. Thank you, Jesus. Quickly, quickly, quickly. If hands have been laid on you, please just look towards your right. You will see somebody waving his hands. Quickly get there. One, two minutes, they will attend to you and then you will come back to the church. God bless you. Ministers, please. Two minutes, let's attend to them and bring them back.
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Let's clap our hands together for Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lift up your hand, everyone. You are going to say, Father, every form of pain and reproach in my life, I command you, lose your grip and get out in the name of Jesus. Every form of pain and reproach, lose your grip and go in the name of Jesus. Every form of pain and reproach. Sekata prala gaya bo, seka mama yush. Thenge potori ala baba kashi. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus, mighty name, we pray. Somebody is here. You have been told that you are going to live on draw for the rest of your life. God asked me to tell you. Now. You are almost not coming for this service, but God said, I have touched that situation in your life. Yeah. We'll see. We'll want to pray for those people, the men of God that will lay hand on them. They will pray for you. There's somebody who is experiencing uh, inexplainable pains all over. The Lord said he wanted to do something about your life. But the other two I will call now. You remain in your position I'll tell you what to do. You put your hand on your, on your head. Somebody here, you are going through uh, gradual loss of memory. You just discover you are going through. Now, God said, by the time I'll be rounding up, you lay your hand um, on your head. All those people are trusting God for marriage. There's something God wants us to do, but we don't want to do. We are not going to um, delay everyone. I'll pray for you. But please remain behind so that we can, we can do that thing quickly in, in five minutes. I mean, five minutes after we are finished. Now, if you are the person going through, they have told you that you go through, um, you are living on, you are going to live on drug for the rest of your life. I want you to step out there. And there is someone here, just a while ago, you had a dream. People are pursuing you and uh, you woke up suddenly and since that time you've been feeling inconforming. You are not feeling very comfortable. I want you to reach forward quickly. Let's deal with that two issue quickly. If you are there, please sir, um, just need about four, four or five people. to. Help. If you are there, just come quickly. Our time is gone. Just come if you are there. lay hands on them please please come quickly come quickly come quickly come quickly come quickly quick and as if they lay hands on you you can go back to your seat thank you Jesus Quickly, quickly, quickly. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you.
Praise God. Rise up and hold the hand of your neighbor. Thank you, Jesus. Hold the hand of your neighbor. Just in a, just in a few seconds, you are going to pray. If somebody is not praying for you, remove your hand and go and join your hand to another person. You are going to pray that this is my brother, this is my sister. From today, he will experience, he will be experiencing the resounding victory. He will not be defeated. He will not be stagnated. He will not experience sorrow anymore. The grace of God will be sufficient. Yes, from today. From today. Take a poly a galabaso take a Jessica Paralabaso de Keteba Rebata Kayama Soketa Lord from now Grace favor No sorrow No evil Oh yes no depression Anything that will cause problem will never come near him in release double grace double honor Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. The Lord asked me to tell somebody here. You have the news that something bad will happen in your place of work. The, the Lord said, I should tell you, your own bad news has been converted to good news. The Lord asked me to tell somebody here. Just three days ago, you woke up and your head is, was heavy. And all along, somebody has said you will see. The Lord asked me to tell you, costless cause will never come. I've transferred the weapon back to sender. There is a fellow here. There's something that you are working on. But the more you walk, the harder it becomes. God asked me to tell you, congratulations. A lady here, you are going through mental torture. I don't know, God didn't tell me what is the reason for the mental torture. God asked me to tell you, this day is the day of your deliverance. There is a young girl here, when you are very young, you are defiled. And so, you have been in two relationships and it doesn't work. Now, somebody who is the third is on the way and you are afraid. God asked me to tell you, this is the man. Yeah. Lift up your hands to God. Just thank him. I want to pray now. Just thank him. I want to pray. I want to pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Mm. Somebody is there. You know you are supposed to be a winner, but you are a loser. God said, I have transformed your destiny and destination. Wow. 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 Now, somebody said, I mean, somebody is there. It looked like there's a conspiracy in the place of your war. God said, I have scattered them. <laughs> Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Everyone under the sound of my voice today, I pray that the releases of the Holy Spirit that make life better, that make life miraculous. Receive yours in the name of Jesus. Now. Whatsoever curses, curses and evil covenant to carry, I command the fire of the Holy Ghost to destroy in the name of Jesus. Now. What has been working against you from today, I declare they will work for you in the name of Jesus. Every power that have held you down, every oppressive power, every arm of the wicked, we destroy them by fire. You are released to shine in the name of Jesus. 
you are released to your miracle in the name of Jesus. Everyone that is called sick here, I declare over you, if God 22 years ago healed me of incurable disease, I command that God we all share your healing now in the name of Jesus. The declaration of the expert in your life, we fought it in the name of Jesus. Everyone who are using your name to oppress you, the poison of the scorpion is at the back. They will be stained with poison in the name of Jesus. All your oppression, we baptize them with shame in the name of Jesus. You are released to shine. You are released to freedom. In the name of Jesus. Every unmarried brother, sister here, I declare over you, receive your marriage in the name of Jesus. It is well with you. I declare over this house, over this zone, over this parish, over this province, over this region, for whatever in the name of Jesus. Every one of you say amen. In a better way this morning, you will receive triple blessing in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. I don't know who is going to take the offering, but I took it upon myself to take it. Don't give God 50 naira. Don't give him 100 naira. So, package it. Whatever you want to give, package it now. Where are we going to drop it? On the other hand, package it. So that, just package it. I'll tell you what to say on it. Don't give God ridiculous amount. Now, those of you who are here, who I was expecting God to for marriage. Simple thing, I consulted with your pastor. When I started preaching, God asked me specifically, I give him my suit so that you touch. I don't know why. He looked very, very unreasonable, but that it doesn't really matter. I had him. I cannot be telling lies now, so I will give account of whatsoever I say. So, if you are in that category when we finish, you wait. Well, otherwise, God has answered your prayer. Why are you looking at me like that? Says God has answered your prayer. Yeah. All right, package your offering. Yeah, speak to your offering. Just speak to that offering that Lord, multiple is what I want. Multiple, multiple. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. I speak to that offering in your hand. Every one of you holding something in your hand. For the rest of your years, you will never lack money. You will not only hold money in Naira. You will hold in pound sterling. You will hold in US dollar. You will hold in Dutchman. You will hold in Euro. And in every currency of your choice in the name of Jesus. So shall it be in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray.